Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm dealing with a huge pest problem, but it's not the usual mice and rats. Instead, I'm dealing with black bears. And it's not that black bears are getting in my garbage or acting aggressive. Instead, they're going around and killing trees. I found out about this from my neighbor who went out on his property and noticed over 60 of his trees have been completely stripped off. They're not gonna survive, and they're not young trees either. These were planted in the early 2000s, so they're a couple decades old. They are worth a lot of money, and having that many trees killed by black bears is pretty discouraging. So I came out to my property today to look at the damage, and I found over 80 trees. Now on my property, I have a mixture of dug fir and ponderosa pine. They haven't touched the dug fir, but these pine here, they've completely stripped off the bark. I was told by a biologist that this time of year, there's not a lot of food resources. They're coming out of hibernation. They're eager to get calories. And even though it's not the best quality food, they're going around to these trees, stripping off the bark and eating the precambium later. There's some sugars in there. So I guess they're surviving by killing my trees. I haven't seen this before. These trees are pretty old and I've never seen bear damage. I was told by a forester that this is a learned behavior. Once a mama bear starts doing it, she'll teach her cubs and those cubs will do it for life. Now take a look at this. What they've done is chewed around the base of the tree and just stripped this off completely. This is about six feet high. And this is the only tree I've seen that they've done it from the bottom. Usually they climb up to the top of the trees and strip off about the top 20 or 30 feet of it with the base completely untouched. Obviously these trees don't have any chance of survival. I'm gonna leave them up. They'll start to rot and make good habitat for woodpeckers, squirrels, and other wildlife. I really enjoy having a wild property. I'm not looking to maximize timber harvest, just clear cut it. I want it to be the best quality habitat for wild animals. But if this keeps up, I won't have many trees left. And the reason that's a problem is this property is in a tax deferral for county taxes. So I'm required to have so many trees per acre. And if I don't, I might have to repay back taxes and replant. So let me show you some of the damage, especially the ones up the tree. And I'll end this video with trail camera footage showing you the pictures of the bears. So here's one of my pines. It looks pretty healthy until you go up to the top. You can see that bark is completely stripped off the top. So they climbed all the way up the tree and started having a feast. And at the base of the tree is full of strips of bark. You can see all those right there. They just completely peeled it off, ate the precambium, the cambium layer, whatever had sugars, and then threw everything on the ground. Well, does a bear poop in the woods? Why, yes, yes it does. At the base of these trees where they've been stripping off the bark, I'm finding all these large piles of bear poop, and it's pretty much pure fiber. They're eating grass and tree bark. I'm not seeing any signs of animals such as feathers, bones, or fur. So they come out of hibernation and start on a vegetarian diet, eating whatever they can. But let me show you some of the trail camera footage I've set up to show you the bears that are doing this damage. Well, as you can see from the trail camera footage, there's quite a few different bears that live out here and a few of them are pretty big. But unfortunately, they've learned how to kill the trees by stripping off the bark. It does so much damage to the forest. 
also financially that can be a huge bill if I have to replant. So I am going to deal with them. I can't do anything right now, but hunting season starts in a few months. So maybe we'll set up some hunts and deal with some problem bears. There's laws, so I can't just set up traps or deal with them right now. I can report it to the biologist and see what they can do. But over such a large area, it's pretty hard to deter them. If you've had a bear problem, especially if they've killed trees, what have you done to deal with it? I'm told once they learned, they never stop and they'll keep doing it year after year. Now on my channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on and I do pest control. And I'm gonna keep doing mouse trap videos on Mondays. On Fridays though, I think I'm gonna branch out. I always post a video on Fridays, but it might not be mouse traps every week. It might be something different, like working out of my property, doing primitive skills projects, or I think next week I'm gonna take you out fly fishing, do some fly tying. That's another one of my passions. I love the outdoors. So leave a comment down below too if there's something you wanna see. I do archery, primitive skills, flint napping, I love animals, wild foods, there's so many other things. So I might branch out in the near future. So if you see something that's not a mousetrap video on Friday, don't get alarmed, I'm still doing them every Monday. So thank you for your support, thank you for watching this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button and stay tuned because I have a lot of great content coming soon.